Hello, my name is Lisa and I work for the activities team at Young Bristol. Um, I'm changing what I normally do in the um, when we out on activities, but I'm going to just show you a slightly creative uh, thing that you might be able to do at home, um, just with any few bits and bobs that you might have around the place. But what we, um, we're going to make a, an envelope, um, so and that you're going to decorate. So a little bit of an example there, if you can see that. Okay, so the things you can use are if you've got any paper um, at home, the white paper or I've found a bit of coloured paper, you can use that or um, you can use uh, bits of magazines for it and even if, if you've got one, an old book that someone's not reading or is a bit falling apart, but make sure it's one that you're not going to be, um, no one actually wants to read or use, okay? And then what we need to do to start off with is we get our piece of paper, okay, is to um one piece to fold it to make it for an envelope if it's a, a bit more of an A4 and you want a bit of, you want it to be square, you take the fold, take the corner, so you take the corner and you fold it down so it clips down like this. Okay. So you've got that square like that. So fold it, fold it down. Then we just, with a pair of scissors, we cut along the line there. Then you have a square with a folding. Now, if you want, like I've done there, to put something colourful inside, um, you can use old wrapping paper, um, again, uh, inside of a book for some writing, or I've got a piece from a magazine. And what you need to do that is put the piece of paper you've got cut here over whatever it is you're going to be cutting out, and you can draw around this, and then you can cut that out. Okay, I've redone that bit, so I've got mine cut here. So I'm going to then glue this on. I'm going to use some Pritt stick, but um, you could use sellotape if you have double sided, um, must be not, or or um, a PVA or any glue that would work on paper. Um, I also have some slightly colourful tape, so anything that you can find to, to glue it down or stick it is fine. Just glue in, glue to the edges, and then we stick this on. So if you want it, um, you can either put this on the inside or the outside, depending on what you want. Okay, I'm, mine's going to go on the inside. Put it down. You will then need to fold it in half again. So along the original one, so just fold that in half again. You've got your original fold, and then you're going to fold it the other way. In half again. Go the other way in half again. Now this is the slightly more interesting bit. Because you're going to take down one of the lines, the other corner, and you're going to fold that into the middle. So it looks like that into the middle there and you do it on the other side fold that into the middle that into the middle and then once you've got those two you're going to fold the bottom into the middle okay and there we have our envelope shape and I've got pictures of it coming out so to get as we're decorating it, for the minute, um, what you can do to get these bits to stay together, if you've got anything, so say if you're using a, a piece from a book, the best thing to do with this is not have the square, but actually just tear it around so it looks, just tear a bit off. It's all wobbly. Okay. 
and then you can glue that over. And then you can glue that over and that starts actually making it fix together. Um, but if you've got if you've got any sort of um old birthday cards or anything like that, then you can cut things like that. I think I'm gonna go for the bike in the corner. Like that. And I say, if you've got any old bits, just scraps, if anyone's got any scraps, bits of material that you've got some patterns on, that can also be used. Again, I'm just going to cut out round whatever it is I want to use and go for a nice green. Okay, and you can just go on sticking things on like this until you've got whatever you want to do. And then you can fold the top over. And there you have your envelope. Now, if you don't have any cards, you say you can use bits of magazines to do this. Um, you could use old brain paper bags. Um, also, if you've got an envelope that's just come through the door and it's not being used, then you could decorate one of those. Or the other thing that could be used is actually cereal packets. So because they're fairly solid, you would have to score them to make it fold. And then you can obviously do them in different. So I've done the one I've done, I've got a few bits of lace on it, and I've got some bits from um birthday wrapping paper, and then a little little one where I've actually put a picture inside and I actually found a little sticker to go on top. Um and I have seen these where they're small like this. And then you do like a string through them so you have a little row of them going along. Okay, hope you enjoy and have a good time. And if you fancy posting them for me to see what you've done, that would be lovely. All right, cheers, bye.